Hey folks, I'm Serving Glory, and welcome to part 6 of my playthrough of Workers and Resources, Soviet Republic. So here we are in, I think this is, is this actually Krum, Krumnova? My town, I think it is, I think that's the name of this, what well, will end up being the name of this town. Uh, so since the last part I have, well, sorted out our heat exchangers. So we had them sort of here and here, I've changed them so that they're at 90 degrees to that. Rearranged our pipes, which required a wee bit of rejigging of the roads over here at the small heating plant. So that's all sorted out now. And as you can see, we're just working away on our um, amenities before we move in any citizens. So we've got our shop or our uh, department Shopping centre, not a department store. Shopping centre, we've got kindergarten, we've got school under construction and other things I want to do actually while I'm here. We need to get this under construction uh, for the shop and the small storage as well. So I'm going to just queue up a few small things. Uh, what else? Other small things I'd thought about. Uh, oh yes, a sewage tank, and we've got a water supply somewhere as well. Somewhere down here. That's it. Yes. Okay. Um, oh, we need to add in footpaths, I think, for this. I'll do, and then we can assign these. Right. So that will keep. Workers busy for a while. Missing bricks. Uh, also, I've got this uh, open storage, small open storage, under construction so that it can replace this one. Now, have I stopped delivering to that? I have. That's maybe a bit premature. Let's keep on um, supplying this until that's done. What have we got available? Construction, uh, concrete, all of our dumper trucks picking up gravel. And yeah, I suppose I've just started a lot of construction around here that will require the gravel. Right, so that makes sense. So I'm just going to continue. We've got uh, Pub, um, cinema, swimming pool, hospital, fire station, bus station, and football pitches. I'm going to get all of those, or most of those, probably constructed before we be start bringing in citizens. So I'll just carry on. We'll do that, um, and I'll probably just fast forward from this point until there's something new to see. Alright, so progress continues. Obviously got school and I've limited the number of workers. Um, probably going to 
look for between 50 and 70 percent of staff in the early stages. Uh, these will all just require a wee bit more in the way of resources. Actually, I would like to get this road done quite quickly. Then we'll go into the pub, then probably the cinema. And I we'll sort out the paths and that sort of thing later. This is just about done, which is great. I don't know if you noticed, I had somehow managed to remove the construction offices from this. I don't know how long it had been sitting without any progress being made on it, but we're almost there now. It's got the last few workers to come in. This might be them in the bus. Yep. Then we've got the crane that speeds up the process quite significantly. Right. In here we want to have a steel and prefab panels, bricks and boards. And look, we're missing steel. And that would be for you. So let's get um, steel sign here. No, let's not. Let's take bricks off of there. Bricks can stay down here for now. And we need you to start supplying here. Uh, add this. And I want you to unload all of that good stuff up to 60% capacity. And are there, is the truck there? The truck's already on its way. Good. Right, so that will help speed up our construction up here quite a bit. We've got a uh, small storage complete. Let's limit the amount here and I want probably put this up to about 58% yeah, that'll do. Don't need much in the way of electronics. Cold meat storage. I'm going to need obviously a distribution centre. What do we have here? Technical services. That would be the small distribution office. Um, yeah, we'll probably be okay with that one. Yeah, we'll start off, we'll, we'll build that and we'll use that to supply the food, etc. for this the small sh uh, storage shop. And we've got this completed down here, this road, so we'll reconnect the path again. And... We we'll also need to connect up a dirt road in here. It should be able to connect because it did before. Come on, I know you want to. I saw it, I saw it. Uh, there was a green in there. There we go. Uh, right, so that's connecting up the fire station. These are taking a lot longer than I'd expected. I'm just waiting for workers, I suppose. <laughs> Ridiculous. Six days. Come on. Uh, that road's done also, so let's get our track in here. Up there too. Uh, and get the pub under construction. Right, and back to the roads. In fact, before I do the roads, I'm spotting some of the layout for the paths I'd put in earlier. I'll need to trim that back. Uh, here, probably there. Uh, in there, absolutely, because we need to put a road in. So let's do that. Uh, same here. And reconnect all of this. I probably want to run a path 
all the way along. Do I want, yeah, I do want to connect across there. And can we get, there must be a connection in there somewhere. I'll try it from the other angle. And I probably also want to have a path along here. It's not very straight, but I'll just live with it. It's decorative, oh, great. Um, Yeah, let's have a path down to a crossing there and then we can run you along here. Let's try and have it a bit straighter. That'll do. And you can connect in there. Okay. You need to connect somewhere in here too. Right. Let's connect you up for good measure. And something along here so that the hopefully fire stations is in reach. Ah, that's not so good. Uh, let's. Well, we'll connect that up later. We can't get in there either. So workers could come along through down here and hopefully get to the fire station. Just a bit worried about that being too far away from these lot, but we can put a uh, set of flats in there early on. And that'll provide the workers that we need for the fire station. Right, so sewage tank and the water substation are done. And we're getting some goods in here. We'll wait until this is finished, obviously, before we... Uh, switch our supply point for the construction office. Uh, progress is being made. Uh, you still need some bricks and some boards and the mechanism. Here come the bricks and the boards. And I guess once that's done then uh, one of the cranes should head along. More roads. We've got dumper trucks sitting idle. Let's get graveling started up here. And I could probably do two sections of it because we can get in from each side. Right. I suppose a bit more fast forwarding might be in order. So, as you can see, I'm graveling this road up towards the heating plant. We're still very early in the year, it's only uh, come up to the end of April. So we've got plenty of time to get our heating sorted out before the winter. Um, but I think I want to get the indoor pool and the cinema under construction uh, quite quickly. So I'm going to stop extending this road for now. Uh, basically, so I want to get this emptied. Get the supplies in there instead. 
I want to start taking from here actually. No, not just now. These I uh, Right, they now need the steel and the prefab panels for the uh, cinema. Still on the concrete and gravel asphalt for there. But yes. Um once I've got the pool and the cinema complete, I think I'm going to start bringing in residents. Then they can help construct the hospital and the fire station. And then we'll slowly build up the population, get the heating done, uh, and then we'll actually... No, get the heating done. I'll use foreign workers for the heating plant. Um, but then eventually we'll be bussing uh, our residents out there to do the rest of the construction of our industry. That's a plan anyway. Okay. I just I don't like seeing dumper trucks idle. Are they going to be needed in here? Not for that. Uh, or for that actually, so I could put them back onto the roads now. Uh, yep, that section up there, please. I don't really need any more roads constructed down here. What I can do though is lay out our access roads for the hospital. So I'll have one in there and another one just come down here and the bus can also bus station can access that too. And I was actually I just remembered I was looking at a footpath in here. Was it here? Uh, there must be a point in there. Nope. I thought I saw a connection flicker in between those two. Maybe not. Not liking it. Right, well, instead, I'm sure there's a node in there. Let's bring you just down there and do it this way. doesn't hurt to run a path along there towards the hospital. Alright, uh, that road's going. Now we're looking here. 123 work days plus some boards and some steel. There's a steel on its way. We still have a fair bit of stock in here. But we'll burn through that quickly enough, I'm sure. And I decided to put in a free distribution office. We'll just use that. Uh, and we'll build this, uh, the one over here, and the larger one later. But the distribution office, in fact, we need a technical services as well, don't we? This is a road depot. Oh no, that's my technical services, it's got snow ploughs in it. Yeah, because I'm going to need that as well. So, uh, depots, not maintenance I'm after, uh, free technical office. Just until such time as we can construct something more permanent because in here we're going to need um, a water truck and a sewage truck and again until such time as we get our plumbing sorted out right that's emptying nicely now and um, bricks though we need to 
And if you get your bricks from here now. That's right, there's still yeah, still steel and prefab panels in there. Yeah. Okay. Getting there. And this too just needs bricks. But a lot of them. What we have into the middle of me now. And we've spent just over 400,000 rubles. But we've built quite a fair bit. Purchased a lot of vehicles. Um, most of the spend has probably been on steel, I would have thought. Uh, let's see. All input of resources. Uh, yeah, steel, gravel as well as a lot, and fuel, and how about manpower, yeah, nothing from western countries obviously, but steel has been the biggest cost as I thought, and uh, I did think at one point about getting our own gravel up and running, but there's so much required. We need to get quarries up, we need to get the gravel processing plant, and then the storage, etc. Uh, and I thought that's better just to spend the money bringing in foreign gravel. I still need boards there. And once the pool is done. Might start working on a building. I'm not sure there's still so much that people can be unhappy about. Mm. Do I start bringing in workers? I'm very tempted. Uh, lots of idle vehicles again. Let's get some more up here. Uh, yeah, that's our heating plant there. So let's get that done. And then we'll leave it. I was going to extend the gravel along there, but well, we're still waiting for six tons of boards. Why are we not getting boards up here? We've got these sitting idle. Because I've not assigned boards in here. Uh, prefab panels. What have we got? Prefab panels in steel down there. Right, I've messed up. And that's the problem. Boards that you should be collecting from there. Steel. Uh, it should still be getting collected from here. There we go, off the boards. So that should see this complete, as long as this bus full of workers. 30 workers as well. If that stops in here, that would be fantastic. And it doesn't, it's going to the indoor pool. Still, that will be completed again, but we need mechanisms in there. And they're both stuck here just now. We still need a ton of boards. Why did you only bring in? You only needed six tons, I think. Here come the workers. And already under construction of our small heating plant. Hmm. Where will these go once they get their work done? How many no workers? Surely one of those buses will have some and we don't have an 
open hull anywhere transferring boards still need a ton of boards yep what's going on boards from the small that has plenty of boards Well, I guess you need to finish this. This is the final skirting boards or something that you're just going to bring in later. Okay, we are heading towards the end of May now. And the last couple of months has gone on a lot quicker than I was hoping for. Uh, let's see. You've still got your cranes here. We've got nine work days and you need to wait for a ton of boards before the workers uh, are called for. Will the cranes go across to the pool or have they got to the heating plant? I don't think it really matters. The pool will be done relatively quickly as long as it gets a steady supply of workers. You've got 27 workers, that should see that done. There we go. And staff, I think we'll have six in the cinema for now. And there are the cranes, they're coming along to the pool. And that's okay. Right. How many workers are you getting? 26, not too bad. Is work continuing here? Nope. You need workers and resources. Why have you got no construction offices assigned? You were working earlier, were you not? No, you weren't. Did I not stamp that? I thought I'd st No, I think I, st I built the road. Confused myself. So that hadn't been started. Right. 209 work days. You're getting 44 workers this time. So that will be done very quickly. And we'll transfer attention up to this. Once that's started. Uh, then we'll start working on a block of flats and yeah, I think we'll probably start on a, this block here and here let's have say nine workers for now and Attention turns to this one. Let's get things set. Still need some gravel and asphalt. This is the last of the asphalt. And I think this is the gravel being delivered now. Right. The excavators head up and there should be yeah, buses heading out to get the workers. So let's uh, get citizens. No, don't allow citizens. Um, yeah, don't allow anybody in. I shall call in citizens when I want them. For now, let's get construction underway. And I may as well get uh, some vehicles in here. So we want. One sewage truck for now and one water truck. That's fine. And in here we're going to need... We're going to need, uh, well, one refrigeration truck anyway. And cupboard hull. And we probably want a decent size one. This will bring in food. 
do I want six tons of food and something smaller bringing another no uh, let's just go with the uh, go with the T138 and I think one of them probably is fine so your tasks are going to be to deliver um, food, meat, clothes and uh, electronics to there and beer to there. Actually, let's set the pickup first. So over at Corneau, then drop off here and here. Food, clothes, uh, alcohol, electronics. Unload in there. Uh, not alcohol. But in there, definitely. Alcohol. And let's have storage here. 70%. Uh, missing bricks. And steel. Okay, we're out of steel there. We do have some here, so let's switch this over now. Uh, steel picked up from there. It's good that you're onto that part already. You working away. It won't be too long until you're done as well. And let's have source building. For sewage. Yeah. I'll try it again. Sewage. Is that not how you collect the sewage? Strange. Okay. Um, specify source of water at least over there. Ah, no, it's unloading station. That's what we're after. Uh, let's, we can sell our sewage to here. Yeah, so that should be us now, selling our sewage, buying water. Uh, yes. Not going to be using trains or trams for a long time. Okay, I think I'm probably going to put a break in here. Then we're getting on with this. Still a long way to go, but it's got the cranes there. Uh, it will speed up when they get more workers. And then we can get to work on the pipes. Leave that for now. Let's focus on getting that completed and this block of flats completed. Then we'll get to work in the centre of the town again. But as I said, time for a break. So thanks very much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this. Please leave me a comment, rate the video, subscribe to the channel if you enjoy the content, and hope to see you again next time. Cheers!